Hello guys and welcome to um, episode 59 although it's going to be a bit weird this is uh, basically I went to edit episode 59 just of my walls career mode and for some reason it's not there and it's really annoyed me because I remember pressing the record button and everything uh, and the thing is a lot actually happened in that episode which is very very frustrating uh, I'm going to show you guys quickly what happened anyway so as you can see the first game was against Aston Villa which we won 1-0 against Villa um, it was a quite a boring game anyway and next game was against Norwich which we lost 1-0 which is very disappointing that was another boring game and then we drew 1-0 in the FA Cup against Crew Alexandra but the thing is the transfer window was open as well so there was a lot of movement I'll show you quickly as you can see in the bottom right corner Zaha departed the club as you can see we sold him for an estimated fee of 26 million we got 22 million to play within the transfer budget so when I done that um, Zaha left and I went and signed Niang from AC Milan for 900k so like I said all this happened in that one episode and it's just not there which is annoying um, like I said you probably can see Klein's already joined we, we signed Klein for Southampton that will be in this episode but like I said, it's just it's just very annoying that I've had to do this so I remember actually recording it so I'm having to do this sort of voiceover for you guys but I don't mind but as you can see but like I said we sold Wilfred Zaha for 26 million anyway guys I'm gonna let you continue to watch the episode as you can see there will be more dealings in this episode you'll see who I'm sort of interested in etc but um like I said I just want to apologize for uh, the El Gato playing up anyway enjoy the episode see ya peace hello guys and welcome back to another episode of my walls career mode in the previous episode it's still going through as you can see it's just gone through we have sold Wilfred Zaha for 26 million another offer for Ndiko uh, Niang has declined the contract as well so we have a look at that quickly but as you can see we've got 22 million now to play with so that's very good um, why doesn't he want us what's his what's the matter um, I want a bigger role at the club you know what because of Zaha's you know departure you might actually get the crucial first team position anyway so hopefully that's good is that, is that right with you Niang you happy with that you happy with that Tommy Rowe wants to know about Wilfred Zaha's spot now that he's gone we'll have a look at that in the future but I think Niang's gonna take that place to be honest all right so Klein so I went to Southampton because they're currently in the championship to see if I can get a quote for Klein they want six million but I'm gonna see if I can get him for less to be honest I'm gonna try five million um, like I said we've got a bit of money to play with so I just want to try and build the squad up slowly in certain departments. As you can see, Niang has accepted the contract. Welcome to the club. 900k. Uh, we sold um, Zaha for 26 million. So I think that's a, you know, I think that's a good bit of business there. All uh, right, and quite about a few other players as well. First game is against Sunderland. So have a look. Peru? No, is that Peru? I'm not sure. Is yeah, Peru? Not really into interested in thingy internationals. Toby Alderweireld, the one seven million, is a good rotation player. So you know, looking into it. Griezmann's forty eight million. Are you mad? But anyway, let's get into the next game against Sunderland. Niang's debut. All right, so that's team we're going for. We're going for Goldborn, Steeman, Blackett, Bellerin, uh, McDonald, Gold, and Zalalem and Jacob Tico and Niang hopefully Niang can take, uh, take, take fully take the place of Zaha who was tremendous for us but the money was too good to turn down so like I said every player has its price um, he did well for us but we've got Niang now so we've got to look towards the future people we've got to look towards the future we're currently sitting second by the way in the league I checked the table I'll show you guys after but we're currently I think it's a point behind Man United so we're still second we're still we're still in the hunt oh what play that is gold gold in here go on gold Goal scores. No, what? Oh, I got a bit too cocky there. Oh, what a ball over the top that is for Dicko. Dicko's in. What a ball that is. Oh, what a save again. Over the top for Jacobs. Jacobs score it. Oh, it's wild. Oh, nice. Go on, Dicko. Nick the ball, Dicko. Nick the ball. Sweaty goal. Niang with his debut goal. Is it Niang in it? I hope it is. It could be Zalala, but I think it's Niang. Yeah, Niang with the goal. Look at that little mohawk thing he's got going on. What a goal that is. Well done, boys. Dicko running and using his pace. Niang keeping up with him. What keeps on side as well, which is perfect. And there he is, just a tap the ball in to make that 1-0. Oh, he cuts in and out. Through ball again. Returns a favour. Oh my god, 2-0. The Dicko Niang partnership is forming already, boys. Sundling just don't know what's hit him. Look at the faces, they're all depressed. But as you can see, what a through ball this was from Niang. Waiting for Dicko. Beautiful through ball. Look at this. Dink. And there Dicko just to finish it off to make that 2 0. Over the top for gold. Oof. Oh, finish it, Niang. Finish it. Yes, 3 0. Two goals from Niang on his debut. 
Uh, Gold maybe should have put it in himself, but Niang was there anyway. 3-0 guys, and it ain't even half time. Look at this. Beautiful over the top through ball. Gold brings it down. Gets a bit unlucky, but there you go. Niang puts it in to make that 3-0. Oh, what a what a what a header that was. Who was that? What a header that was. You're into it. No, what happened there? Scuff it, don't tell me you flop dropped the ball. What happened here? The ball comes in. I even I thought you actually caught it, that's why I went silent. Oh, scuff it. Yeah, no one really doing anything now at the moment. This game's gonna pretty dead. All the action happened in the first half, I'll tell you that. Oh my god, done then. Oh now and again? What's going on? No. No, no, get rid of it. No, no! Ooh, bloody hell. Oh, who's injured? Someone's down on the floor. Who's he? Oh, McDonald. Oh, I've got Rabio injured and now McDonald. Oh my god, this is not looking good. Anyway, it's going to bring it to the end of the game. Picking up the victory in the end. 3-1 against Sunderland. Yang getting his debut goal. Actually getting two goals on the day. Dicko with the other one. Uh, Dicko man of the match. 9.4 rating. Yang 8.9. Uh, Ings didn't have much time to uh, put a stamp on the game. So he only gets a 5.3. But... I'm just glad we got a win to be honest, uh, the game was pretty even, 8 shots apiece, uh, we had more on target, possession not much in it again, uh, but you know, we're still in the transfer market, I'm not sure if to go for a centre midfield now because Rabio and McDonald are both injured, we do have Evans, Price and Savile still in the squad, so uh, I don't know, alright, I looked at Paul Pogba and they wanted 18 million for him and now all of a sudden they want 43 million, what the hell, but anyway, Southampton have accepted our bid of 5 million for Nathaniel Klein, who I think would be a tremendous addition to the squad. So we're going to go ahead and sign him up for years. You'll be an important first team player. Anyway, we've got our replay game against Crew Alexander in a few days as well. So we need to get a few transfers in before that. I know I've bid for Joss Stones as well. Uh, John Stones still want 10 million. Uh, you know what? I can actually go that, that far. I'll bid 10. Actually, 9 and, f nine and 3. We've got 9 3. Alright, so our next game is against Crew in the FA Cup, who we drew against in the previous episode. Alright, that's the team I've gone for. I've gone for Scuff it in goal, O'Hanlon, Stearman, Bath, and Ebanks in defence, Evans, Gold, and Savile in midfield, and Jacobs, Ings, and Lapara up top. I think this team can do the job. Oh, and it's snowing. You guys know how I hate to play in the snow. Go wide, find Lapara. Lapara's in here. Go on, Lapara, finish it. Ah, oh, Lapara. Ah, oh, through ball. Oh! After post, gold, layoff, gold, oh my god, I just can't put the ball into the back of the net against crew, oh nice, oh nice, gold, oh what a tackle that is, go on Lepara, go on Lepara, go cross box, goal, yes, finally, nice, 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 that Danny Ings with the goal, Starts the ball in and there's Ings to tap it in. Look at this, Lapara. That's what I expect from you, Lapara. Ball comes in. Look at that. Slides in. Boom. 1 0. Four comes in. Oh, Hanlon's all up to you. Oh, off the crossbar. No. Oh, what a save, Scuff it. What a save. Our oh, through ball. Go wide of it. Jacobs, finish it. Finish it, Jacobs. Yes. 2 0. Not the cleanest goal you'll ever see, but I don't care. I just want us through to the next round. Jacobs, what a ball. Look at this title through ball. Look at that. Finds Jacob. Boom. I tried to finesse. I'm not sure what it was. When it goes in, that's all that matters. Oh, nice gold. Nice gold. That's, just, that's gold at its best. Cuts inside. Oh, falls a defender. Off the post. Score it. No, how'd you miss? Ing still manages to get the ball. Lays it off to gold. Who lays it off to Evans? Who loses the ball? Get, get, get to it. Head in. Oh, off the crossbar. I didn't expect that. Oh, what a ball that is. What a ball that is. Oh, Jesus. 2 one ninetieth minute. Oh, will we hold on? What a ball this is. I've got to watch this again. Look at this. Oh, look at that for a ball. Jeez. Anyway, it's going to bring it to the end of the game. Picking up the rich in the end. 2-1. We go through to the next round of the FA Cup. It was, you know, a fair play to crew. They made it difficult for us, but we managed to scrape through. As you can see, 10 shots, 4 on target. Uh, Ings, man of the match, with an 8.4 rating. Uh, the rest of the team, Stearman was poor, 4.0. Um, Stearman will probably be replaced by um, Stones when he comes in eventually. As you can see, Klein has accepted the contract, so welcome to the club, Nathaniel Klein. I think that's a huge sign and great, great right back. Now, we've received an offer for, 
for Ryan Gold, um, which is it. PSG again coming after our players, but I love Gold, so I'm going to reject that offer. He's my player. Everton want that much, so we're gonna we're gonna we're just gonna go for the ten. See if we can get him for the ten. Oh my God. Dico wants to leave the club. Oh Jesus. Uh, all them transfer offers that came in for him, and he oh, and I rejected them all. And now he wants to leave. Mm, great. All right, that's the team I've gone for. I've gone for Scuffit, Blackett, Bath, Klein, and Goldborn in defence. Price, Jacobs, and Zalalem in midfield, and Rowe, Ings, and Niang up top. As you can see, um, I thought I'd try Rowe out on the wing, and plus I didn't realise Jacobs could actually play Cam, and Edwards is still out injured, so we need to sort of try and rotate the squad as much as possible. Uh, I think this team can do the job. I think they can. Oh, get your head to it, Klein. Nice, Klein. That's what I bought you for. Get to it. Oh, man, it was coming. It was coming. Swansea have been the better team for the first half. I haven't been, I haven't really had a chance to get out of my own half. It's been onslaught pressure from Swansea. Oh, my God. I'm sure Dempsey always scores against me, actually. Jesus. Oh, what a layoff. Gold. Oh, what a save. What the hell, man? <gasps> Over the top. Oh, nice. Delal and finish it. Oh, come on. Oh no, oh no, it's my fault, it's my fault, off the crossbar, get to it, no, oh, oh, free ball for my UK, you got the pace my UK, use it, finish it, yes, my UK makes it one all, so that time we finally did something, what a free ball, could have, could have been a red card here for, I'm not too sure who that is, but it could have been a red card, but luckily my UK rides a challenge and puts the ball into the back of net to make that one all, come on, we can't lose any more ground on Manchester United, oh, Danny Ings up there by himself. No wings! No, not there, no. Oh, well, you could nick the ball though. Well, you could all by himself. Oh, got no options. Oh, oh come on. What a tackle. No, get to it. What happened? <laughs> no, FIFA. What are you doing to me today? Oh, it's my fault again, but look at this. Top, top corner. Jesus. Anyway, it's going to bring it to the end of the game. Losing 2-1 to Swansea in the end. We've lost more ground on Manchester United, I imagine. As you can see, it wasn't our greatest game. Possession, 40%. Six shots, three on target. Stat-wise, Jack Price, our man of the match with a 7.7. No one else really shined. Ah, oh, not great. Not great at all. Where's Manchester United? Can I see them? They're not there. All right, Flats going out on loan to Shrewsbury. And looks like we've got an offer now for... QPR from QPR for Dicko so I'm gonna counter it and say five and a half mil and he's yours. He wants to leave guys, nothing I can do. As you can see, Manchester United have a game in hand over us. Uh, we're currently seven points behind uh no in front of Manchester City, but we're only a point behind uh, Manchester United. Who like I said who have a game in hand, so hopefully they can sort of drop some points there, but you know, I'd rather us not depend on um, other teams' results. Um, let's have a look at the squad quickly. As you can see, Rabiot's got a dislocated shoulder. It's going to be fit in five weeks. That's just over a month. Um, McDonald, torn calf muscle, is going to be 100% fit in two months. And Edwards has got a broken collarbone and he's going to be back in six weeks. Oh my god, this injury list. And like I said, we already know about Danny Ings as well. I don't know what to do, guys. But like I said, um, Dico is leaving. We're probably going to get about five million for him. Um, our transfer budget at the moment is seventeen million, but I will have to adjust that because of the wage budget. But um, say we've got about twenty million to spend on a striker. So if you can think of any suggestions, drop the names down below in the comment section, and I'll have a look at them. And anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching this episode. If you did like it, please give a like. And if you guys are new around here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hope you're having a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next episode. See you guys. Peace.